Okay, here's another Magini model. This is 101, uh, and it's it's a little older than some of the others, but I, I would say that this one is around probably 1900 to 1910. Uh, it's got it's got a nice design to it, nice wide waist, and it lends itself to good fiddle tone. This particular fiddle has a really good growl to it, and it's uh, it's very smooth and dark but it's got a, a lot of vibration to it, so you can really feel it good when you're playing. It sounds good. Um, it's set up kind of standard, like I how I, I set them up for, for fiddling. Um, Guarneri tailpiece, Whitner fine tuner, um, I'm sorry, Guarneri chin rest, Whitner fine tuner tailpiece. Um, I'd use old bl bridge blanks. Some of these probably are from the 40s and 50s. Uh, a lot of these old bridges are from the Gotts factory that was um, I think might have been bombed out during World War II, but I, I have a bunch of these old bridges and they're blanks, but they make really good bridges because they're seasoned. Uh, this one has the double purfling, and this violin is in good condition uh, overall. This one does not have the extra turn in the scroll like some of the others. Um, it's got nice wood on it. Let's see the back of it. and uh, has a nice flame to the wood and it's the original varnish which is always a plus and it's been revoiced a new bass bar and it plays its butt off and you'll hear it by a good fiddler and a good friend of mine <laughs> you a lot. I don't hate you for you sell this one.
It's a monster, Steve. I believe it's, I believe it's got it, man. <laughs> it's a monster. <laughs> Phil would probably win a contest. I like it. <laughs> it's easy to play in, boy, does it? It's got a nice, nice soft, round. I can feel warm the vibrations sound. from here. Yeah, it's nice. 